Hello, mamas. A wise man named Bo Burnham once said, and I'm not going to quote this directly because I don't go around memorizing quotes of what people said. I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning. But Bo Burnham basically once said, companies are trying to colonize our mind. As you know, Throughout history, we have just tried to colonize land. The British moved into North America and made America. But there's no more places to colonize. The, un, until companies realized that you can colonize every minute of someone's day. And that's what I want to talk about today. When the fuck did everything start costing money online? This is weird. This is a weird phenomenon that is happening. Much expected, not surprising, but weird nonetheless. The internet used to be, and I know this is very old head of me, like, wow, 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 you're an old man, go die in a hole. I get it, and I understand that, and I hear it as I say this out loud, but the internet used to be a place where you could fully have entire experiences you could go months without spending a penny on it aside from paying your internet bill from the internet people i've never done that because i am only on mommy's wi-fi or airbnb well i don't know how you pay, pay a bill but it was free that was one of the most beautiful things about it the internet and everything that was on it for the most part was free look at it today what the fuck is going on what the actual fuck is going on? Instagram just announced that they're coming out with a new thing called Meta Verified. Sorry, this is Instagram and Facebook. I forget that Instagram has its ugly fucking cousin Facebook that it drags to every single event. Um, this is Instagram and Facebook. And all together, they make the company Meta. And for, I think it's about $15 a month. Holy shit, $15 a month. You can, pay, you can pay to verify yourself. It comes with some other things, okay? So obviously you get the little verified badge on Instagram that makes everyone think that your opinion is more valid than everyone else's. And I know I say that as a joke, but that's actually how they treat it. If you're verified, your comments will always be at the top of comment sections i'm sure you've seen it before on celebrities instagram posts there it's like selena gomez at the beach and you see four thousand like brain dead b-list celebrities with the fucking heart eye emoji three times or the fire emoji three times i don't know why every time a celebrity makes a comment they have to put it three times like like Haley bieber we get it we get you you one fire emoji was enough you don't need to put three but i digress that is how verified accounts have always been on Instagram, okay? You get treated a little bit better. But now they're making it um, something that you pay for. For $50 a month, you can pay to have your posts uplifted. That's that's one of the benefits of this whole meta, meta verified thing, okay? So you pay 50 bucks a month. A, you get the verified badge. B, your comments get higher priority. And C, your actual content gets higher priority. Yes, so if you say there, you, you, there's you and your identical twin, you both post the same video of you eating cereal. Twin A is verified, twin B is not. That means that twin A, who ha pays for this verification, their video is going to get more views and reach more people than twin B that did not. In the grand scheme of things, if you're a content creator, $15 a month isn't going to really matter that much and also i want to acknowledge that most people aren't using instagram professionally they're not trying to make a living off of instagram or anything so it really doesn't affect them and it isn't really something that will probably interest them but nevertheless instagram used to be fucking free and at that it used to not even have ads okay instagram literally was just pictures at one point and I know that's kind of the trend that every single app goes in is becoming this like unrecognizable monstrosity of features stolen from all the other different apps bandaged together with fucking like Gorilla Glue. Like I know that's what Instagram is now, but like holy shit, $15 a month for Instagram. And it's, it, I think this kind of happened because it's riding off this wave 
of it becoming uh, acceptable to charge for things that used to be free. So, you know, this kind of started, I think, with Twitter um, announcing that for, I think it's eight, eight bucks a month, I believe, you can be verified on Twitter. And, you know, it was a similar things. And I, I kind of chalked this up to Elon Musk just being fucking annoying and wanting more money. So like, and wanting to please the investors of Twitter. So I didn't really think that much of it. I didn't think it was ever going to really catch on in like the social media industry or anything. Oh, fuck. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. It did. And now Instagram charges for it. So, you know, obviously like $8 is still a stupid amount of money to pay for Twitter, which used to be fucking free, but at least it's not $15. And I want to acknowledge, like, obviously, I think it's good to, like, make verified badges pointless. They are pointless. They literally don't matter. It's putting celebrities or notable figures on a higher fucking pedestal than they need to be. And I know that's fucking rich coming from blue checkmark bitch over here. But, like, my ass does not have anything more important to say than, like, anyone else. Like, maybe if you're, like... Neil deGrasse Tyson or you actually are like notable for a reason sure but why the fuck are we verifying like reality tv stars or like tiktokers like take our shits away we don't need them we don't need them but anyways <laughs> so you know that that's one example instagram and twitter um snapchat also i should mention has a paid thing as well you also get a snapchat verified badge uh i believe shit i i don't know what else it comes oh you get you get to see like the ghost trails of your friends on snap map so you can see where they were before which literally sounds so fucking illegal but let's give it to them um and like some other random features you can change like the app icon uh i accidentally fucking bought it fun fact um so i'm actually a snapchat plus premium member uh i wanted to try for a month because i wanted to see what um it would do and then i forgot to cancel it and i have it for a year now so that's really rich coming from me but anyways um in so boom like we already have instagram twitter and snapchat like three out of the four main social medias already charging you and you know this is where it starts um and it started with twitter this specific phenomenon where you ha had to pay for shit that was already free but how far will this go We'll get to a point where you have to start paying to see posts or you have to pay to see your friends or like use specific features. I really don't see them stopping at just Instagram. And also might I just fucking add this is a crazy thing to do in the middle of a, like a recession where people already don't have money. Like sure, bitches are like paying all their money to buy like regular groceries that just happen to go up three times in price. But fuck it. Let's start charging $15 a month for Instagram blue badge. Mm, dumb as shit. So it makes me wonder, will this happen in TikTok? I know I said the three out of the four social media platforms this has already happened for, fourth one being TikTok, are they going to start charging people? And the answer is, I don't know. You know, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, I very much see as dead or dying platforms. They need to show their investors, let's get businessy for a second, which I we shouldn't be because I don't know anything about fucking business, but businesses basically have investors that they need to please. These are people that like essentially pay for the company to fucking exist and the company in return has to show that they're constantly growing just like a cancer cell. And so, you know, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, they are dead. They pretty much are spent. Um, so they come out with these new things like, Hey y'all, we're actually going to be getting so much more money because we're charging people $15 for the shit they already had. Um, but TikTok, I don't see them doing this immediately. Um, which is like, wow, crazy. TikTok is now, <laughs> TikTok is now, um, the morally sound social media platform. Everyone flocked to TikTok. Kidding. Um, but TikTok's still growing, I think maybe. But it's definitely not dying, and it's definitely not, not dead. So they're not really in a place of desperation where they need to charge $15 a month for verification. So, you know, I don't think we need to worry about TikTok yet, but I'm sure the day will come where it's on death's doorknob being like, <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Our offices are made of straw. We don't have running water. Please pay $15. 
or we'll take away your fucking for you page. Like, <laughs> maybe that day will come. I don't know. But for now, we can breathe easy j- knowing that they're just making money off of stealing our data. Um, <laughs> moving along. Let me, like, quickly touch on, like, like verification. I, I somewhat just, like, fully sympathize with people wanting to, like, get the service. And I really don't blame anyone or judge anyone that wants to pay for meta verified or twitter blue or snapchat plus that's okay because on one hand when i was little like when i was like i think 14 when they came out with instagram verified um i thought it was the coolest thing ever i was like how freaking fun would it be to have that little blue badge and i i didn't really like i i I only thought of the novelty of it i wasn't really thinking like how actually stupid and pointless it is but you know I really wanted one, so I'm not going to blame people for wanting to buy it. But on the other hand, they're also making it, like, literally a necessity. If you're a smaller content creator and all of a sudden people are getting their posts above yours because they paid for a verification badge, like, that sucks. And it almost forces you to buy it. So I don't think that's fair, and I totally understand people who are maybe smaller content creators or smaller businesses that want to do that. I think it's shitty that that's happening, but, you know, you kind of have to play by capitalism's fucking rules. You can't just, like, fully avoid it. So, um, uh, and let me just, like, quickly, if you don't know, like, the way the original verification process was, I can, like, expose this. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally exposing Twitter right now. No, um, but I guess, like, this doesn't exist on Twitter anymore, so I can fully talk about this. But the way it used to be on Twitter was you basically had to know someone at Twitter, like an employee, and I happen to know, um, I got into contact with a Twitter employee and was able to get get verified on Twitter. Um, b- another way is just having like a shit ton of like press. Like for some reason, press is just like such a, it's like the currency of the social media world. So if you have like articles like in CNN and stuff written about you, uh, it's really easy to get verified. Um, and also I will say like you do need press to get verified they they don't just verify like any joe blow off the street you have to like be able to search in a google news like ben of the week and then some stuff comes up which some stuff does come up (laughs) because i'm famous i have two articles y'all i have an article with good housekeeping of me knitting while doing an interview and then a cosmopolitan taste test video which those are actually really fun i don't know why i'm like like saying like it was a bad thing it was so fun doing those but anyways (laughs) <laughs> moving along moving along moving along blah, blah 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 that's like one realm of the internet being commodified but it's a phenomenon that happens to every single aspect of anything any one thing that's fun on the internet let's move on to like gaming okay fortnite is free or is it i would argue that it's not okay Games used to be, it used to be the case that you would pay $80 Canadian, I don't know what it is in American, like $60 American dollars, you would get the game, it used to be a physical copy, then it just became like a digital copy, and it's yours, it's fucking yours, you pay for it, and you get the whole game. Then came along DLCs, downloadable content, um, which at first seemed like a good idea, it was like, wow, they're making new stuff for this game that I already love, this is so fun, I love this. Then it kind of became the thing where they'd put out the game, it was basically half of the game, and then you'd have to buy $40 worth of extra content, which pretty much was just the other pieces of the fucking game. Then came along skins, okay? Outfits, emotes, like, for example, Fortnite, shit like that. Then came along battle passes, paying every single, like, every, every, like, 90 days for another ten dollars for just a few more skins or in the case of like fortnite and call of duty warzone you know you have your regular battle pass for the people that can't afford it um which gives you like the shit nasty like butthole skins that no one wants but then they dangle in front of you like a carrot like a carrot in front of a pig all the cool skins like you can have spider-man you can have uh hulk i could literally just say any tv or movie character and it would be in fortnite like that's also crazy in its own right but they like dangle it in front it's like pay come on just pay ten dollars and you get this so even though fortnite's a free game which you know i think is good and you can literally 
do most i'd i'd say you can do like 80 percent of fortnite for free without ever buying a skin that's good and all but it's endless and i think that's a problem like gone are the days of just like paying for a game once and then having it and that used to be the case for like online games too obviously online games like sure the game companies make a shit ton of money at the start but then they start losing money because they have to keep running the servers all of that um it costs them money but like for single player games to charge money for dlcs like it's just it's just never ending it's just never ending but moving on from games uh there's also tv and like streaming so like netflix <laughs> like netflix used to be this answer for like having cable tv it was like you do you really want to be paying 80 dollars a month for like a bunch of channels that you will never watch come to netflix it's like it's a it's like five bucks a month and you get all these movies and all these tv shows flash forward it's like 18 dollars now they just announced that you literally cannot share passwords anymore like you have to have your netflix account based in your home address which is also just really fun for me because i'm just never gonna have netflix again because i don't have a home address so don't know what i'm gonna do about that um that's really fun and that's like one thing but then you look at how many other streaming platforms you need and we're right back at fucking the start of the circle you have to pay like upwards of $80 to watch all the shows that you once had on cable. Okay? You need the average person probably is paying for Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, uh Amazon Prime Video. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Like but even those in its own is like already at like 50 or $60. Okay? Oh, Disney Plus, $70. And we're right back to where we started. Nothing changed. We didn't save money. It wasn't like some breakthrough that's helping the consumer. And this is the this is the fucking binding law of capitalism. You know, people are like, oh, capitalism breeds innovation. No, the fuck it doesn't. We're just back at square one. Now, the weird, the weird, weird, weird exception to this which I didn't even like want to really bring up, but is like literally Spotify or Apple Music. I would argue that this is like probably the best deal and probably the best thing that you can spend money on. Spotify is like $10 a month and you just get every song. You get every fucking song ever. That's good. That's probably better than good. And I get the $10 a month. Like, if you're, like, really, like, rubbing pennies together and, like, you can barely pay for food, I get that, like, $10 a month still is, like, chipping away. But imagine if Netflix was $10 and had every single TV show and movie on it. Like, it's crazy that Spotify just exists for us and is as cheap as it is. Now, obviously, that comes with the price of, like, artists literally getting no money for their music and having to constantly go on tour and, like, release merch after merch after merch. That does suck, but I'm always gonna, like, be glad that most people are only paying $10 a month for music. Then, like, oh, boo-hoo. Um, the weekend uh, is losing millions of dollars. Like, I don't care. So, that is, like, a weird exception to like th that's a weird example where charging stuff on the internet or like making the internet more expensive is actually like helping um but like subscriptions in general are just so i i i i, I like grew up with my parents like basically avoiding subscriptions at all costs especially my dad like they were very just averse to anything that would like come back and charge you. And I feel like that's how a lot of people were. Like no one really wants to have something just charging you until the day you die. It's kind of weird to like give up owning things to just getting charged a subscription for eternity. Like do we even know that <laughs> do we even know that like subscriptions stop when you die? I don't think they do. I think, like, literally, if I drop dead right now, I think Netflix would just keep charging me until my bank account got canceled or something. Like, that's also scary. But 
you know, there was something about owning things that felt good. You could own a Blu-ray di- disc for a movie, and I'm not, like, coming here in defense of Blu-ray saying, like, you know what, scrap watching things online, let's go back to watching DVDs. But, like, if you owned a Blu-ray, you could watch it as many times as you want, and then if you didn't want it anymore, you could sell it. So, like, A, that thing is always yours if you want it to always be yours. And B, you can literally sell it and make some of the money back. You can't sell a month of your Disney Plus subscription. You can't sell a month. You can't, like, sell a month of your Instagram verified badge when you decide you don't like it. That's just money gone forever. So... You know, we're at the point where, like, we don't own anything. And this is, like, something that I hear about a lot. It's, like, in the future, like, we're literally going to own nothing. Like, this can be this can be good and bad. Like, I don't think we should all own cars. I know I'm guilting this. Like, here's my ass saying that when I have two fucking cars. But um, <laughs> I just really made it sound like, I got two Ferraris. I'm rich, famous YouTuber. I have my Toyota Corolla that I was given when I was, like, 17. And then I have my electric car, which was, like, a little, a little splurge, a little Christmas present to me, which I'm now regretting buying. But I, I can sell it. But the thing is, like, if we, do- if we don't all own cars, we're going to have probably hopefully better public transport which is better for the planet better for most people in general i think i freaking love trains i'm a train whore i w- run a train on me- anyways um so you know like sometimes not owning things is good but when all the money that we're just like giving away is just going to corporations that are just trying to please their investors that's not good we're not like th- that's not helping the consumer in any way and it really cracks me the fuck up like how these companies try and like play it off as like a good thing like introducing meta verified you can do you get all these amazing things these are amazing features you got 15 dollars a month 15 i'm we're so sorry but 15 dollars a month but besides that being 15 dollars a month how would you like it if your posts went above all the other poor people that can't pay because 15 dollars a month that's all you have to pay like how how do you even like sleep at night when you like are making such a useless fucking product that was literally free before how like you have to be the like a master marketer to be able <laughs> to like to like find a way to spin that as a good thing it's like <laughs> it's like if like in canada we have free health care for the most part and it's like if the government just switched that and charged you like up the ass and like guys before you had free health care now you have healthcare plus verified. When you are in the hospital on a ventilator because your lungs just stopped working, we will place a verified premium badge next to your bedside as you fucking die, okay? And and we will give you priority premium processing, okay, for euthanasia medication. If you decide you want to be put down like a dog, we will get you the medication faster than everyone else, okay? Everyone else has to suffer for weeks, but we'll we'll fast track your euthanasia medication. Like, that's what that shit is giving. <laughs> How is this a good thing? It's so stupid. And these are features, like, the thing is, these aren't actual good features these are things that they could give to us for free so easily like i can't fucking stress enough how it's pixels a instagram verified badge is probably 40 pixels on a screen in what fucking world is that 15 dollars? (laughs) okay it doesn't make any sense like fortnite with all their skins and stuff like at the end of the day you can still, like, there's no tactical benefit or, like, you don't get an advantage by having a certain skin for the most part. Like, some skins are, like, easier to see from far away. Um, Not necessarily, like, Ariana Grande skins or anything like that. But, like, you know, they're at least somewhat fun. They have a little bit of drip, okay? Capitalism might have popped off the slightest, tiniest bit with that one. But... <sighs> Like, a verified badge. Come on. And it's, like, it really goes to show how desperate these companies are that that's all they have to offer. Like, that's all they have left. Like, (laughs) we've given you everything. Just please buy our Instagram verified badge. 
it's pathetic. It really is fucking pathetic. Um, oh, and I'll say, like, YouTube... I guess I forgot that. That's I guess there's five big social media platforms. But, like, YouTube, like, that shit will always be free. Yes, there's ads on it. But... And and they do have YouTube... I think YouTube Red or YouTube Premium. Um, That one is... That one's weird because I do think it's nice, like, having no ads. But at the same time, they're not, like, taking away anything. And who knows? Maybe they'll start verifying people off of it um, in the future. But... Also, I just want to quickly say, like, to open up verification for everyone, you're going to have that. That's so antithetical to, like, the purpose of getting verified. Like, you aren't really verified. Like, you're just like, you can make an account for anything and then make it verified and impersonate anyone that literally defeats the purpose of what they created verification for. I'm not too worried about, like, people making fake accounts, although that has, like, happened in the past. And for some reason, bitches on TikTok can be so, like, socially, social media illiterate that they, like, don't understand that it's not me. Like, it'll be, like, some account, like, posting, like, old-ass videos from, like, 2020, and people will just, like, be like, well, Ben, did you make a new account? No! It's a, a, a repost! Hello? And then, like, adversely, on my second account, bitches will be like, guys, report this account. This is, this is a fake account. I'm like, no! <laughs> like, how can y'all not tell? Ugh. But, and this, oh my god, I was gonna talk about this uh, in today's episode, but, like, I really wanna t- do an episode talking about, like, satire on TikTok and people's lack of media literacy to tell what's real and what's fake, because it's actually insane. But that is, ooh, that's a story for another day! And I need to think on that one. But anyways, <laughs> that's that's my rant. Um, please comment your drama, though. I feel like we've been, I mean, that's kind of drama. I'm making it drama. But I do want to hear your guys' drama stories. And I used to be like, oh, use the hashtag on Twitter. No, fuck Twitter. We're not using it anymore. Just there's someone else at my door right now. They literally turned the fucking door on. Okay, well, um, I'm going to keep podcasting, so if they come in and kill me, y'all will get to see and find my killer and make a Netflix documentary on it and then have to pay $15 a month to watch it. And then if you leave your house, you can't watch it. Um, <laughs> uh, please comment your drama, your dramatic stories. Make it juicy. Make it big and long. Um, <laughs> and I- I'll read them in, in uh, some future episodes. I'm going to read them at the end of episodes again. We're going to bring it back, baby. The drama stories are back. Um, And with that all being said, I love y'all a whole bunch. Thank you for watching this episode. Let me know your thoughts. If you think, if you will buy Meta Verified, what your thoughts are on the internet becoming expensive as fuck. I love y'all. I'll see you next Wednesday. Take care. End of the week. Ciao.